The island nation of Madagascar is home to over 9,000 endemic plants and nearly 800 endemic vertebrates, including a variety of palm, baobab, and chameleon species. Madagascar's isolation from other land masses has allowed for the evolution of these endemic species, including a group of the most endangered mammals on Earth, the lemurs. Researchers theorize that primate ancestors arrived on Madagascar around 54 million years ago and subsequently diversified into the over 100 different lemur species found today. Two of the most beloved of these species are the black and white rough lemur, or Varicia variegata, and the red rough lemur, or Varicia rubra. These species live in the rainforest, but are geographically separated from one another by the Antinambalana River, with Varicia rubra found to the east of the river and Varicia variegata found to the south and west. Although they are considered distinct species, both the red rough lemur and the black and white rough lemur have similar ecologies. Approximately 92% of Varicia variegata diet consists of fruit, which they supplement with leaves and nectar. As a result, rough lemurs are extremely important seed dispersers, typically consuming whole seeds and allowing them to pass through their digestive system. Scientists believe that this process leads to increased germination success and helps distribute seeds throughout the rainforest. Rough lemurs are arboreal and can typically be found in the crowns of the canopy where most fruit is located. Rough lemurs are considered crepuscular primates, meaning that they are most active during the morning and evening. They live in fission-fusion social groups, which allow them to vary group size and composition depending on their behavior. For instance, a rough lemur group may break apart while foraging, but may come back together as a group to sleep. Groups consist of multiple males and females, with females being dominant. However, there is no evidence for sex bias dispersal, and multiple females in each group may reproduce in a given reproductive cycle. Unlike other lemur species, female rough lemurs give birth to litters ranging from two to three infants. Instead of carrying these infants around, mothers build nests for their infants and park them while they forage for food. This leaves infants vulnerable to predation and can lead to low infant survival rates. However, rough lemurs have adapted a unique strategy in response to this. Group mothers place infants in communal nests and take turns guarding the nest, allowing other females to forage without leaving infants susceptible to predation. Dubbed lemur kindergarten, communal nesting behavior has been shown to increase infant survival. Rough lemurs are highly endangered primarily due to habitat deforestation, forest fragmentation, and hunting. Slash and burn agriculture, known among the Malagasy as Tabi, is a widely used and unsustainable agricultural practice in which farmers cut and burn forests for rice cultivation. Tabi depletes the soil of its rich nutrients and leaves the forest heavily fragmented. As a consequence, species such as the rough lemurs are vulnerable to the effects of inbreeding. Additionally, hunting is particularly devastating to lemur populations. Hunters target lemurs primarily because of malnutrition and poverty in rural areas. However, lemurs are also hunted because many people consider their taste a delicacy. Scientists estimate that Varicia populations have declined over 80% in the past 20 years, which has led to both species being classified as critically endangered by the IUCN. Despite the bleak outlook for rough lemurs, conservationists have implemented many strategies to try to protect these species of lemurs. Corridors have been built between forest fragments to increase rainforest connectivity and help maintain genetic diversity. Additionally, a program at the Ben and Pona Reserve has released captive black and white lemurs back into the wild to bolster genetic diversity and demographics of wild populations and is widely considered successful. With research, education, and conservation, rough lemurs can be preserved for generations to come.